Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes You can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then where you have problem a discussion for self-evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video all right so hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this video is going to be about uh, like the questions which were asked from inorganic reaction mechanism part and this question was asked for four marks right and it was asked in your uh, CSIR June 2019 exam and over here it was said that consider the following reactions they were A, B, C these are the three reactions given and it was asked that the reaction which will not produce ethane as the product okay so they are asking that which will not produce ethane as the product that's what they were asking so for to answer this question you should know about the reaction mechanism of these uh, like of the organometallic compound so basically you need to know oxidative addition okay then reductive elimination reductive elimination and then your beta hydride uh, elimination okay then comes your migratory insertion okay migratory insertion and uh, insertion and uh, one more is there that is transmetallation okay although transmetallation would not be used over here but yeah so transmetallation so these are some basic uh, reaction mechanism of organometallic compounds which you should know now if you don't know about these uh, like what are these and uh, if you want to understand them in detail and I'll just give you a link over here in the i button you can click on that link and you can watch my video a detailed video is over there on these reaction mechanisms right so yeah let's talk about this question now so I'll be taking all these reactions one by one and I'll show that what will happen actually in these reactions because you need to know okay and you need to understand that what kind of reaction mechanism will be followed in them so let's start with it so when we are dealing with this first reaction so we are given with this compound let me just make it once again just to make you guys understand that what actually will happen okay so we have phosphorus over here and we have ph2 and we have ph2 and then we have platinum and then we have uh, okay so we have let's say ch2 ch3 and over here i'll just write it like this o and with this ch3 i will write it like ch2 and h okay so this is how i can write it now now what will happen see over here it can happen like beta hydride elimination can happen and in that what will happen that this platinum oxygen bond will shift in this side and this hydrogen as a hydride ligand will bind to this platinum because uh, the affinity of platinum hydride band, uh, bond is more than platinum oxygen bond okay so that will happen so what has happened just now it is called as beta elimination okay beta elimination and your CHO group will be eliminated okay so your CHO group has been eliminated and in the next step you will be getting something like this P, PH2 PH2 you will be at like platinum will be over here and you will be having like CH2, CH3 and hydrogen over here. Now in the next reaction, uh, like in the next step, it's very simple. Uh, you are having a reductive elimination and this part like the oxidation state of platinum will change from over here platinum is in plus 2 oxidation state. So it will change from plus 2 to 0 oxidation state. And the next step, in the next step you will be having something like P, uh, PH2 okay and platinum over here so platinum is in zero oxidation over here 
and along with that the byproduct which you will get will be ch3 ch3 so in option number a you got ethane as the product right so this is not the answer now you know it was asked that in which of the reactions you will not get ethane as the as the product so over here you are getting ethane so this cannot be our answer now let's see what is what is going to happen in in the option b so talking about the second reaction that is uh, b option number b so let's see what is going to happen over here so you have to treat this this particular entity um, with ch3i right with methyl iodide so let's start to do this so this is p ph3 then plat uh, palladium is there then p ph3 and we have ch3 and we have ch3 okay so we have uh, ch3 and ch3 so palladium over here is in plus two oxidation state okay so the oxidation state is two over here now it can undergo reductive elimination very easily so reductive elimination it can undergo reductive elimination to form like this bond will break basically and your methane group that is ch3 okay and ch3 this will be eliminated from this okay so this particular group will be eliminated so what you are going to get is palladium pph3 pph3 so now remember uh, that although your ethane has been formed but in the next step you have to treat with ch3 okay so up till now the reaction has not been completed you have to treat it with ch3i which is given in the reaction so what is going to happen now so oxidative addition oxidative addition of methyl and iodine both on this palladium complex and you are going to get pd p ph3 p ph3 and ch3 and i okay so palladium over here was in zero oxidation state here it is again in plus two oxidation state so this is how in the second reaction you got um, methyl iod uh, sorry uh, you got this as the final product right so now let's go to the option number c the reaction number c and see what you are going to get in in that particular reaction okay so let's see that now up till now uh, we have seen in reaction A and reaction B both in reaction A our final product was actually a palladium complex and along with that we found ethane molecule in the second reaction also in the uh, like in the starting step only when the reductive elimination happened in that case we got uh, ethane molecule so basically we were getting ethane molecule in both reaction A and B both right now it it's uh, it's like that that in in option number a we were getting that in the last product or in the last step but in reaction number b we were getting that in the first step itself now talking about reaction number c what will what is going to happen over here let's try to see that so let me just draw this uh this complex so we have cobalt over here it is attached to two methyl groups so ch3 ch3 and along with that it is attached to pph3 all right so now what is going to happen in the first step is ligand displacement okay so in the first step we will be having minus pph3 so this ligand will uh, it will like this ligand will evacuate and this is called as ligand displacement okay why this happens because we need to create a, a vacant space because it's already 18 electron species so it won't undergo any reaction until and unless our vacancy has been created so that vacancy will be created when this pph3 will evacuate from here okay or it will be displaced from here so what you are going to get in the next step is something like this so we have co we have ch3 we have ch3 and along with that we will be having a vacancy that's what i am just showing with this with this box so this box is showing us that there is a vacancy okay now uh, you can add your ligand so we were having ch2 double bond ch2 so that will be added over here through the pi bond so what you will be getting in the next step is this okay so cobalt then we have ch3 we have ch3 and over here we will be having ch2 double bond ch2 okay so this has been joined through the pi bond all right 
so in the next step we will be having migratory insertion uh, be, uh, like see uh, this one is like this will be position one this will be position two so what kind of migratory insertion it will be it will be one two migratory insertion that will happen on this okay so on alkenes we generally see one two migratory insertion so let me just draw that so one two migratory insertion so let's do that what will happen after migratory insertion so so your methyl group will migrate on the second position and you will be having like ch3 over here and this will add get added from this one of the ch2 so ch2 this is first ch2 then ch2 this is the second ch2 and on this ch2 one of the methyl group will migrate so this will actually happen in this way that this bond will migrate on this carbon okay and this bond will now be found with like this pi bond through this pi bond it was earlier through this pi bond now it will be uh, like it will make a bond through the sigma bond right so we'll be having this ch3 bit which has been migrated just now okay so now i can just draw this thing in a different way this ch2 i can just show it like this that ch and h okay so i can just so, show it in this way so what is going to now happen is beta elimination just not just like that we have seen in the first step so that is called as beta elimination okay what happens in that that the hydrogen present on alpha and beta position that uh, hydrogen will come and that will directly bind to this metal ligand and this bond will shift over here okay so when this bond will shift over here what you are going to get is co along with that this ch3 we, we have not done anything with that and now hydrogen will form a bond because that's how this hydrogen came to the metal and this bond has been now broken right so what you will get as the byproduct over here is um okay so i'll just show it over here so it is like ch2 double bond because this bond just came over here so you will be forming a double bond over here then ch single bond ch3 so this group will be eliminated okay so beta elimination of this particular whole group will be done and now the last final product so in the last step what is going to happen is nothing but reductive elimination reductive elimination of these two groups okay so you will be forming CO and along with that CH4 okay so your methane will be the final product now if you just look upon this reaction in any of the step there is not like your ethane is not getting formed okay so if if i just bring up the quotient over here on the slide just to show you that what was asked actually so if you just look upon the quotient it was asked that consider the following reaction these are the three reactions which we have seen in detail it is said that the reaction which will not produce the reaction which will not produce ethane as the product so we have seen in the first reaction that the final product was your ethane molecule right in the second reaction in the first step only uh, the reductive elimination of ethane was done so we were getting ethane in the second reaction as well but in the third one there was no formation of ethane yet uh, but our methane was formed not ethane right so only option c or reaction number c was the uh, the reaction in which there was no formation of ethane molecule so answer will be your option number c so that's how you have to do this particular question i hope this was much clear to you guys and uh, that's all from my side in this particular video i hope you guys like this it uh, like this video if you guys like the video give it a like if you want me to solve a particular question from june 2019 exam do write it down in the comment section below i'll be taking that definitely in the next video till then have a great day bye bye and yeah if you are new to this channel do subscribe and if you like this video do give it a like and comment whatever you want to ask in the comment section below so thank you so much guys and have a great day bye bye